The shocking life of a concubine after the emperor dies. The 276 years long Chinese Ming dynasty is recognized as one of the finest eras of orderly government and social stability in human history. But the dynasty has been praised for its stability and ingenuity had a darker and more gruesome side. It was the life of the concubines after the death of an emperor. Want to know more about this darker side of the dynasty? Then hold on and watch the video to know this breathtaking reality. Who was unaware of the cruelty of the Ming emperors and how could be imperial concubines avoided? According to some studies, some Ming emperors had up to 9,000 concubines, many of whom had been kidnapped from their homes and were not allowed to leave their gilded prisons until when summoned to the emperor's bed. Because the barbaric practice of foot binding was prevalent at the time, the handicapped ladies were unable to flee or even enter the emperor's bedrooms but had to be carried naked before the expectant man. The Hongwu Emperor founded the Ming Dynasty and is regarded as one of the most influential and famous Chinese emperors. Starting as an impoverished monk roaming China, he rose to become one of Asia's most formidable rulers. He led the army that drove out the Mongol invaders who had dominated China for a century in 1368. After establishing his empire, he took the name Ming, which means bright, in Mandarin. His cruelty, though extended beyond the battlefield, he kept concubines caged and tortured them behind locked doors. His pride and jealousy prompted him to exert total control over their lives. To maintain authority over concubines even after his death, he instituted the practice of killing, forcing them to commit suicide or burying them alive with the deceased emperor. This heinous tradition was carried out by Yang Le and the Hangxi Emperor, two of the Hangwu Emperor's successors. Fortunately, the Zheng Tong Emperor banned the practice in his will in 1464. Thus, the concubines of the other emperors only had to dread the loss of favor rather than death. The Yang Lao Emperor is famous for establishing a second capital for China, in addition to Nanjing and naming it Beijing, as it is still known today. His brutal acts, on the other hand, were numerous and extensively documented. In 1421, shortly after Yang Lao inaugurated the Forbidden City on the New Year's Day, Rumors circulated that one of the emperor's favorite concubines had committed suicide because she had an affair with the palace eunuch as a result of the emperor's impotence. The humiliated emperor set about silencing everyone who was aware of the event as well as everyone involved. He informed the rest of the palace that the particular concubine had been poisoned and he then picked up 2,800 ladies from his harem and slashed them all. Girls as young as 12 years old were executed in this mass execution. While there is no official record of this massacre, a written testimony exists from another of his concubines, Lady Kui, who was absent from the palace at the time. On the day of Yang La's funeral, Lady Kui and 15 of the emperor's remaining concubines were hung from white silk nooses in the hallways of the Forbidden Palace. Zhang Yu, the 11th Ming king who ascended on 1505, became tired of concubines and became fascinated with everyday life. He would sneak out in the middle of the night disguised and patronized nearby brothels. This did not stop him from amassing so many concubines that many claimed to have died of starvation due to the lack of food and space to house them. Several historians believe that Zhang Yu's reign was the catalyst for the Ming dynasty's demise. Judging his successor was preoccupied with inventing an elixir that would grant him endless life, and he believed the crucial element in this elixir was the menstrual blood of virgins. Thousands of girls were picked up and sent to the Forbidden City to be harvested. During his rule, their diets were restricted to mulberries and dew to keep their bodies pristine. As a result of this terrible diet, many people perished from malnutrition. In 1542, however, a group of 16 concubines fought back. The Renian conspiracy was their attempt to bring down the tyrannical emperor. One day, when the emperor was in the rooms of his favorite concubine, the consort Duan, the palace woman took advantage of the situation 
The woman restrained the emperor while one concubine attempted to strangle him with a hair ribbon. When that failed, they put a silk cotton cord around his neck. But they made the wrong kind of knot and were unable to tighten the noose enough to complete the job. One of the conspirators became alarmed and informed Empress Fang of the assassination attempt. Although the emperor was comatose till the next day, the empress took matters into her own hand and tragically had the palace woman executed by slow slicing, also known as death by a thousand cuts. So dear friends, you have seen the life of a concubine in ancient China. You have seen what hardships they faced. If you felt the pain of concubines through this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to know more historical and untold secrets like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.